We were standing around the LGBTQ plus water cooler, and we think this is what we might all be talking about this week. Mm -hmm. It's the our Cindy Brown. Sh yeah. You in the middle, in the before you come out. It's <laughs> queer, hot topic. Queen Elizabeth II. Now, what are we going to talk about? And it's not going to be about John Hayden. No, John uh, doesn't get to John's talk movie right. buddy. No. Queen movie Elizabeth buddy. II was a beloved queen by many. And then there was, well, everyone else. Right. Yep. Many still blame her for the death of Princess Diana. Mm -hmm. Others uh, <laughs> point to her refusal to accept Meghan Markle and blame it on racism. Mm -hmm. Whatever the reasons, queer Twitter came loaded with jokes and memes when she recently passed away. And of course, that got our shady selves interested. Pose and queer as folk actor Johnny Silbilly posted, quote, can y'all stop saying the queen? I keep thinking you're talking about Beyonce. <laughs> That's of course. Great, end quote. BuzzFeed writer Aaron Chack tweeted, quote, you're never too old to achieve your dreams. Prince Charles is 73 and he just landed his first job, <laughs> end quote. Our hot topic of the week is London Bridge is falling down. Ask us if you don't know what that means. <laughs> and here is some of the hilarious LGBTQ plus Twitter uh, sayings and memes about the Queen's passing. What do we think about the Queen? Spirit <laughs> out. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, we didn't funny. let her. That body was still warm by the time we got to all these jokes. Oh, yeah. There's uh, so many, so many uh, dying to open up these pearly gates right now. Ooh. And you know, it's a map. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a news junkie pretty much. And it's astounding that the, the, the news it's networks really are just nonstop been... coverage of all of it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, yeah. you know, when I, there's been very little talk about all the really, really bad like things. Like colonialism? In, in colonialism. <laughs> talk about like, Hello. I mean, like, when they very back, little. When they don't get back yeah. that them diamonds that they stole. Exactly. Yeah. There's <laughs> nobody's talking about <laughs> I that. I think that as, you know, they finally barrier sometime next right, year right um your friend there's gonna be my my friend my movie buddy Lizzie <laughs> yeah we me. know that John. To me. but no i think that there will be because you know like barbados left the Commonwealth. Yeah, absolutely i think that there's probably going to be because i saw some polls uh mm -hmm. a couple weeks before she died where the monarchy isn't necessarily so popular in the uk it's at about 50 percent but elizabethanism was like in the mid 80s. Like people loved wow. her, Lizzie, right. and yeah, not yeah. all of that's gonna come along. So I think the she thing to watch is gonna be 70, 70 years. Well, yeah, and I think yeah, that's, another reason, that's another reason that every, there's wall to wall coverage. This has never been covered before. Right. We've never seen this yeah. in our, in our lifetime. Certainly in our, yeah. You know? yeah and we, so I think we that's saw some, something it's the fascination. very similar that we were very emotional about, and that was Princess Diana. Yeah. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Similar, similar, yeah. but our entire worlds yeah. came to a stop, especially in LGBT. Oh, yeah. Because she nobody was a, in our community is feeling this yeah. week the way right. we were in the week of Diana. Well, well first of all, she really, was 96, so it was like, oh, yeah, she like, lived a long time. But I really think that all of the news networks are doing a disservice because they're not telling the full story. Yeah. But that's that's true. That's what happened. Like what's happening in schools. The, I mean, we can, yeah, they're not the other... telling the true story. Yeah. Yeah. And the queen. Okay, yeah. so reparations uh, I, for the people who I'm, drained the bank. Over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but um, I'm I'm sitting here thinking about well, how is that any different than what's going on in Florida in terms of what it's we're doing not. in our schools? You know, it's, it's not, not any uh, different. That's at all. a level of acceptance of going. Okay, we'll fight it. We'll fight okay, it. Because they're trying to unteach, unteach. But it's been going on for ever, though. Like. Even in history books, they they try to whitewash uh, U.S. history as as if as if um, it's it was this of great course. thing. Even in, in in school, we were talking about yeah, like how the, the Indians, Indians and Thanksgiving and, and Thanksgiving everybody sat like, down wow. happy. I can't believe I yeah, because we were still, we were learning we sat, about Christmas. Right? We sat down and we had we sat down with the Indians and had turkey and stuff. Right, and then we got Thanksgiving, <laughs> and then we killed them. <laughs> oh my! You know, uh, interesting. Um, uh, uh, regardless of how you feel about. Uh, um, the royal family and and uh, I just like Prince Harry and, and mm -hmm. yeah, I do too. I He's like Prince fine. Harry. He is that, fine. That is a fine yeah. man and a, and a great supporter. You like of LGBT? Yeah. <laughs> I do. 
Um, <laughs> oh, you're tiny sexual. Oh, wait, so was I. Um, uh, but the interesting thing is it's a business. Absolutely. Uh, it's the, the, the UK firm. is, exactly, the UK is no longer a superpower. Mm -hmm. They have not been a superpower no. uh, a really, really since post-World War II. <clears throat> um, uh, the, the Nazis pushed them absolutely to the edge, and, and the UK is a powerful force in the world, but they're not a superpower. No. And, and uh, the monarchy gives them something that is extremely unique and valuable for them. Right. And I, I've read recently that the the value of uh, the revenue generation of different kinds of ways that the monarchy uh, generates money for the UK economy mm -hmm. is in the four to seven billion dollar range. Yeah. Well, therefore, it's a business. That's how you it is, and it's then all that other exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> therefore, it's it's worthwhile as long as we remember. You know, we love Walt Disney World too, right? But we don't live our lives based on what Walt. Right. Well, Ron DeSantis does. does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Well, exactly. you know, exactly. well, you know, Ron, he ready to like dethrone you. Yeah. He's Satan. <laughs> Ron DeSantis. Yeah. yeah well, to Satan. Um. Uh. So so <laughs> oh, they so they uh, bury her, I believe. Monday. Monday. Okay. And once uh, Monday is Charles going to be good? Uh, well, you know, I've heard that Charles, his his feelings is to kind of move away from the kind of monarchy that's been in, in existence. And, um, you know, they want to be more for the people. And I think just so you're looking... So money to the people that they... Well, I don't, I don't know that, but they're, you so know, they're being more... They're not being forward. <laughs> being more accessible and they're being kind more, of... Well, more just, transparent. More just, transparent, did you, did you exactly. Did the woman, when he was walking the line the day after his mom died, and, and she, he just, like, this woman just reached out and, and grabbed him, like, by the cheeks and, and just... Him. His mother would have had that woman thrown in the Tower of London. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that it's way? more about yeah. connecting yeah. with the people. And I think that... You know, when William finally uh, gets to become king, if there's still a monarchy around, yeah, I mean, there's going that's to a question. To, to be next there's you know, going Charles to be. Charles waited because his entire okay, life. Okay, his entire you know, life. He waited just as long as... Well, yeah, Britain, you know, Britain, he deserves to Britain's be king for Britain's not going to give up $5 billion. No. no they're not, not going to. No. And Charles won't be lived to be 90, 90. No. I just don't think so. No. I, don't, I don't see that. <laughs> I don't, yeah. It's my premonition. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, let me ask the real harsh question. Do we care about this at all? Not what we're talking about. I mean, it. Well, 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 we have an obligation we think it's because of it. Interesting yeah. entertainment fodder. Yeah, but and it's pop culture know, for it real. It doesn't matter How, to uh, me. For real. How about LGBT um, uh, in general? Is LGBT care America care about this at all? We Certainly. should. A we lot should. Of yeah, absolutely. Yeah, should. We yeah should. but my question is, do we? Yes. I think some we of do? us absolutely yeah. do. Some of us could care less, yeah. but. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised some bars say. aren't going to be open at 5 a.m. on Monday right. and having viewing parties. I mean, and that's the campy, fun side of and it. And they'll but, dress up and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah they want to see the, the, the outfits and all that yeah. stuff. But, uh, yeah. But, but the, the fascinators are fascinating. Right. Yeah. Exactly, right. yeah. All but right. no, they, but they should because we've talked um, about how William and, down, right. now to a lesser extent, his dad, because he's king, right. have this great platform to be advocates, to post just, right. a, just a simple pride post from the Prince of Wales carries so much weight around the world. Right. And exactly. I, so they have a very important platform. So should we, should we should care beyond the pomp and pageantry yeah. of the, it's the like, funeral it's and the like coronation. People who aren't Catholic, but when the Pope says something, yeah. it affects you know, if Pope says something positive about LGBT people, I'm not a Catholic. Yeah. I'm not even religious, yeah. okay. but it's important and it's impactful for the globe. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I will ensure that nobody can see the internal yawn going on in yeah. my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's bored too. All right. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.